Okay, welcome. Uh, this is Mr. Freeland, and this is your opening night homework video. Uh, the reasons I want you to view this video, uh, there's a few reasons. One, I want you to uh, show that you are able to view videos that I create for you. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, homework problems and quiz solutions and so forth uh, that are put on video for you to view at any time. So I want to make sure that you can do that. Two, I want to talk a little bit about the class, um, a little bit about the course expectations and what it's going to take to be successful in this class. Um, and I'd rather do this Outside of class, I'd rather spend class time working on interesting trig problems. So let's get to it. Um, I'm at the ETHS website here. And if you're watching this video, you probably already figured out how to get to my website, but just showing you some ways to do that. Um, if you click down here on the left side on teacher websites and you find my name, Ross Freeland, click on that. You'll get my beautiful website where you can find my schedule. You can read a little bit about me and how I got here. You can see the classes that I teach and so forth. But I'm going to click on our class, Trig Honors. That's going to take us to the class website, in which there are all, there's all sorts of resources for you here. Um, I can see that there's a calendar here. Um, I'll always put the basically assignment calendar here that's also posted in my classroom. But if you're ever absent, you ever want to know what's due, well, it's all here. Um, there's also the course expectations, thoughts on being successful. We're going to look at that later. There's an assignments section. So if I click here in the assignment section, I will see a list of announcements. Um, there's only one announcement posted right now, and these are all the assignments for the review unit. Um, you can see that this is the assignment you're working on now. And then the first seven assignments for this year are going to be worksheets because we're really looking at review. Um, most of the homework in the class will be out of the book. And so the assignment sheets will be posted in this area. But if we ever lose your assignment sheet or whatever, you can always come to the website to find these things. Um, another tab that's here on the website is a homework quiz, solutions, and videos. Um, all of the homework solutions will be posted. Um, so for instance, if you're working on the first homework assignment that I'll give you tomorrow, in fact, I'll give you a packet of the first seven homework assignments tomorrow, and I want to see the solutions, well, it's all right here. Um, in addition, if there are problems that I think are a little bit difficult or that students have asked about, I or sometimes you will create videos going over these problems. And so, you know, here's an example of a problem on the first homework assignment, number 32 on page 407, that there's a video posted going over that problem. This will happen often throughout the year. So this is a great resource that you can look at. Um, I also have a, a tab here which is blank right now for what I'll call class slides. Um, this will be, you know, a few days before the test. I will post all the problems that we have been working on in class and you know, it's a good way to test yourself uh, to go back and find some problems that we see if you can do them look at your notes and so forth that will be posted for each unit right before the unit test okay and then I've got course expectations here and actually I'm going to go ahead and click on our course expectations for this class and you can read most of this to just highlight a few things um, Email is the best way for your parents to get in touch with me. As far as what you need to bring to class on a daily basis, you need to bring something to write with. Uh, you will need a graphing calculator for this class, having an 83 or an 84. Um, that's what's necessary. Um, there will be many times where we're not allowed to use a calculator, but we, we, we will use it as a tool in this class, so you'll need it. You'll need a notebook that's dedicated for just notes. Much of the things that we do in class will be problems that are projected on the, the screen. I um, mean, you'll need a place to work on those problems. And then a separate notebook or folder dedicated for homework. Um, as far as homework goes, you'll basically have daily homework. It's due the next day. Sometimes homework is checked in during class. 
Um, and But many times you're asked to self-assess your level of effort on the homework. You're expected to bring all homework that has not been checked into class each day. Um, and I'll talk more about how that's going to go. But basically, homework's due on a daily basis. Homework is about 10% of the grade. Um, we'll have quizzes and then tests and, and as well. So that's how your grade is calculated. You can access this file, and I'm going to give you a paper copy of it anytime to find out about the course expectations. But really, this is just a formality. Um, the other document I want to look at right now is called Thoughts on Being Successful. Okay, so this, these are some of my thoughts about how to be successful in this class. I'm going to call this class a, what I would call problems-based classroom. And so what that means is that we learn by doing problems. Most of the time, when you walk in the door, there will be a problem projected up on the screen in front of the room. And the routine is to basically begin working on that problem right away. You'll often be sitting in groups. And so you should talk to each other about that problem. You should work together. Um, so what this document says is, number one is, it says that it's important that you try to create a solution totally on their own. I'm not going to give you problems in class that you know how to do. Okay? That would be a waste of my time and your time. I'm going to give you problems that you can access but are going to be challenging, that you're going to have to think about and talk about. But you really learn best when you try, even if you don't get the solution or you don't get the correct method or whatever, it's important to try the problem. So if I were working in my notebook, I might divide my paper in half and on the left side it's, it's my attempt or my group's attempt to solve the problem. Then we're always going to go over that problem as a class. We're going to discuss the problem and that's where you need to make sure that you take notes on um, the solution that we discuss. Okay, so it even says here, I may even suggest dividing your notes into two columns. One will contain your work and attempts to solve the problem. The other column will contain notes from when we go over the problem as a class. Before each test, I will post blank copies of all the problems we have done in class for the unit. A great way to study would be to redo some of the problems using your notes as a reference. Point number three, important to be active in class. Volunteer solution. Ask a question. Either of these two makes every student better at solving problems and better at expressing his or her ideas. Okay? We're a family here. It's okay to be wrong. It's okay to ask a question that maybe doesn't make sense, as long as you're paying attention. Uh, point number four, it says, before a student begins his or her homework, he or she should reread or redo some of the daily problems we do in class. Okay? It's important to go back and review the problems that we do in class. Um, you've got a book, you should read the book and see if you can relate the book to what we did in class. Uh, number five is as far as homework goes, you are expected to make a thoughtful attempt at every problem that is assigned for homework. Um, again, there are many resources on the website to help you with your homework. There are solutions. There are videos, but you really need to try to solve each problem first before going to those resources. Number six, uh, seek extra help. Hey, the math lab, the math study center, it's a great place to go to work on math, and there's plenty of teachers that can help you there. Number seven, um, learn from your mistakes. Okay, it's okay to make mistakes in this class, okay, and that's how we actually learn. Um, and so it says, for some, this may require a difficult transition from previous math classes. For all the time and effective effort a student expends towards being an effective problem solver will have a lasting positive, will have lasting positive repercussions both inside my classroom and in many other facets of his or her life. So we're going to be learning a lot of higher level math. And whether you use it in your life or not, and many of you won't, you're still going to learn a lot. You're still going to become a better problem solver. Um, and you're going to get a lot out of the experience. But these are just some of the thoughts on how to be successful in this class. You, know, you might go back to this document as the year goes along. 
Okay, so again, um, perhaps the main theme of this video is take advantage of this website that has been created. Um, check it out. Uh, I wish you all the best. It's going to be a great year. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and I will see you in class tomorrow.